everyone welcome to my channel if you are a new subscriber welcome to my channel if you are old subscriber thank you for staying tuned to my channel so like i said today i'll be sharing with you my one year story so today is 20th of july if i'm not mistaken yeah 20th of july i i actually want to share this story because i know there's someone out there who is so discouraged who is so devastated who 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 who, who is depressed of coming to the schengen nation you know one good thing about schengen visa is you can use it to travel to 26 countries without visa you just you just you can go through train by hair if you wish you know like people in Italy they go to Germany by train go to France by train you know and there are so many many, many countries that you can go by bus just that takes time together so <laughs> my Ninja people <laughs> the other is real <laughs> so uh, I got married January 14th, 2017. Before then, my husband started processing my document, and uh, I, <laughs> I we were okay taking it slowly. You know, after the wedding, we were like okay, send the document to Italy from there. You know, send my invitation, then apply to go to the embassy, then apply for visa. And to me, I felt it was going to be easy, my sister. It's not easy, eh? <laughs> like the Italian words we say. It's not easy. So, sorry. Sorry about that. My camera went off and um, so I had to come in. I had to come inside to, you know, charge my camera. So, like I was saying, it's not easy. So, let no one deceive you. Like, it's easy. It's not really easy. Um, so after my husband left, after my wedding, my husband left to Italy. So I I contacted my agent. So he said I should come to Lagos. Then I was in Delta. I was in Bori. So he contacted. Um, he asked me to come to to Lagos. I went to Lagos and. Uh, I arranged my file, my marriage certificate, and some other things because in Italy they don't speak English, so we have to do translation. So after everything, um, we went to the embassy. Getting to the embassy, they said I have not authenticated my documents. I was like, but the agent never told me I was supposed to do that. So I I asked him, Oga, what happened? He said, um, uh, he wanted to tell me so we have to take the document to Abuja for certification and all that. So I was angry. So when he left, okay, I told him I was going to buy something. So I I was not looking for places. So I asked questions. You know, I'm good in asking questions. So I asked someone there like what's happening. I want to take my document to Abuja. The lady said, um, there's a place here in lagos you can, you can do it without going to abuja i was like really so i collected the lady's number and you know i went to the place and i did my certification at people when the man when the man called me ah you know, madam i ain't going to lagos anymore i was like no don't worry my sister is going to abuja i have to go to Ab abuja anymore so i told him don't worry my sister is going to abuja she will do it from there so he was like no problem so after authenticating it, I gave it to him for legalization. I paid the amount for legalization. I was supposed to be checking my documents to tell him, but I can't really remember the amount I paid for legalization. It's in stamp in your document, so you see the amount. It's written on it, so nobody have to shit you on anything. So I paid the money for legalization. That was February. So I submitted February. I I went back to worry. So after I, they said the document is gonna come out by 
a month interval so after a month i went there i went to the embassy at uh, um, italian embassy at ikoi no sorry italian embassy at vi sorry italian embassy at vi so i went to vi they said um document is not yet out i called the agent the agent said uh, when it's added, she'll get back to me. At a point, I was worried. So I called him. What happened? He said it's a month time. That my document to be out after legalizing. He said uh, there is a problem. And that they can't find your document. Maybe you should go to the embassy yourself. So I started going to the embassy myself. I'll book appointment online. I'll go. So I started going all the time. So a lady saw me like, I've seen this face before. I was like, yeah, I was here last week, I was here yesterday, I was here today again. She was like, what's your name, what's your problem? So I told her, she was like, we can't find your document. Maybe you should go do another document. I was like, really? Oh, my document. Ha! Where did I start from? My marriage certificate is there. Ah, no, no, no. It's declaration. I, in fact, I just don't know where to start about it's documents are there. So where will I start from? I was confused. I don't know what to do. I called my husband, see what's happening. He said, and they, I should just be patient. Maybe they will see. So I was confused. I don't know what to do. I keep on praying, and then I hope that one day they'll call me to come and pick up my document. Because I've heard a lot of cases where people lost their document at the embassy, and they started all over again. I, I was like, God, my kids can't. Be like that i want my kids to be different you know so i i was hoping and believing god that the whole thing would change so one day i was just after three months of waiting i submitted march i should be sorry i submitted february march april february march april february march april may and I may one day, one I was just lying down, hopeless. I was just there. So she called me and Madam, the agent who I called me, ah, Madam, your document is out for your document you 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 submitted for legalization is out. I was like, really? So where can I meet? Then I was still in Lagos. Yeah, I was my sister in law. Hey, where can I meet you up? She said, eh, come to come to see someone so please to pick it up. So I went. I pick it up and i forward document to my husband so with that those documents then he was supposed to process and send me my invitation i waited for invitation i waited i waited one month two months three months in fact that was how i waited for the whole of that year 2017 gone and at 2018 2017 so 18. I think it came to myself. I, I was like, come to Nigeria. Even if I'm not coming over, I should come. So he came to Nigeria December 2017. He went back. I think he spent a week or so. So he went back. He went back and he promised that they, they said they are working on. I said, ah, story. That was what you said before we got married. That within three months, my documents will be up. My documents will be up. So. I am not, I'm not even moved by your words anymore. So it was like, believe me or not, by February your document will be out. So I was like, okay, no problem. So at that February, I called him, my guy, you said the document will be out by February. What happened? Same story that he went to their commune, which is their local government over here. So commune is like registry to a lot of things is being done in commune too. So they went to their community, they said uh, it's in process. I was like, okay, no problem. So at Feb uh, March, he called me like, um, your document is out, I'll forward it to you, your invitation is out. I was like, really? <laughs> so he forwarded it to me, I picked up, and uh, then I was already seven because the stress was too much, I was depressed, I was down. In fact, a lot of people started saying something, are you sure? Your husband doesn't have another wife over there. Are you sure? Are you sure this? Are you sure that? Are you even sure he has documents to bring you over? I was like, really? My auntie is over there too. Ah, in fact, I was like, what's it? 
Martin know this guy, so what do you want me to do? Do you want me to kill myself? He's like, no, eh, we're just saying because it's over a year now, you got married and you're still in Nigeria. At the point, I started telling them, I'm no longer interested, I'm not, in fact, I'm not traveling again. So I was just encouraging myself that I wasn't going to travel again. Anybody asked me, ah, how far is your husband? I said, fine. Are you, are you not going to join him? Have you not gone to join him? So some people will just pick up call the phone and just call you, ah, how are you? I said, fine. Hey, no, you never still go meet your husband. What the hell? What's your business if I'm not going to meet my husband? Are you the one marrying me? <laughs> oh, Nigeria people, they can be very mean. He was asking me, someone called me like, Madam, you see there this country, what's your problem? To me, sometimes I'll just be like, okay, oh, fine, I'll make up my mind. I'm not. So I just went for service, to, to, you know, to while away time. I just went to do my NYC and uh, to set up my life in Nigeria, probably get a better job and start living my life in Nigeria. Instead of traveling, so I lose hope till he called me. March, like my document is out. Then I was already serving. I was like, okay, no problem. He sent it to me, and I pick it up, and uh, I went to the embassy the following month, which is April. When he got there, they said the embassy is shut down. We have to go to uh, VFS at Lekki for 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 submission. The embassy no longer collect a um, uh, 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 VFS. Yeah, I'll put the I'll put their full meaning so that you see here, so that you see um, so that I see it yourself. So I went there and uh, they said uh, they are not. So, they, so when I got there, okay, it was one of my friend Chichi. We both went there together. So. We get we got there and uh, and they said uh, they are not attending to marriage reunion. There is only those traveling for um, tourist visit, business, and uh, one of that in the course for maybe medical purpose. I don't know. So I was like, okay, no problem. We went. So when are you going to resume? They said they don't need it for that notice. I was there. My agent. In fact, don't use agents. Agents, some agents are good, some are not good. Mine was, some are fast, some are slow. Mine was very slow. Most of the things I did in myself, the only thing he helped me to do was arrange my file. So, I didn't mean I didn't have agent. I would say have question because I'm very smart. I'm good at asking questions. You just ask questions all around. So, I was just asking questions and, you know, I see some people, they say like, agent, it's my money, blah, 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 blah. It just eats your money because you put all your resources on 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 the agent. You gave him your passport. You gave uh, them the money, and you went home to relax. No, it's not done like that. You you you, you have to. I would like it. You you have to do some things yourself. All this all this while I was online, I was checking if the the embassy is open for 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 for. For collecting application you know I was there I was always going back to Lagos to check if there is any information and all that so finally I had, um, that was uh, I think I went April April May June and at June I got information that the embassy will be open by the embassy will be open so we're supposed to go there so at that june 5th i went to the embassy they said um june 5th yeah they said we should submit that they are not they are not collecting but they are not collecting directly that we should submit to we should submit our application to vfs so vfs will transfer to them i was like okay i at june 5th after then, I went back to to Delta State. So after going to, when I got to Delta State, I was still calling, checking. I even called some people. I called my other sister in Abuja to see if I can just go to Abuja. They said no, they don't accept it. So 
I said, so when I got there, I must see cute pop bubble, which is the uh, Aleki. See the cute, you see Canada, <laughs> they are more than 200. <laughs> see America, in fact, they are special people. It's South Africa. If everybody wants to leave the country, oh my God. So I, 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 I was, I was lucky enough because the first time I went there, they said first, first uh, 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 ten people they will attend to per day. <laughs> I was number twenty something. So this time around, I went very early. I make sure I, I also to be number one. You know that was number one. One of my one lady I met there, Benin lady, she was number two. So they called me when they started calling. They started calling Canada first. Then they started calling South Africa, America was in the other side. So Europe was at the front. So they started calling Europe countries and all that. So when they called, when they called me. When they called, we started calling Europe countries. So they started calling uh, different different countries in Europe, and uh, finally they called Italy. I was number one in Italy on the queue, so I got in. They searched my bag. There's one metal. You scan in. Make sure you're not with any. So just drop your bag. So they scan you. When I got to the counter, I dropped my passport. They gave me a pass. I got inside so they asked me questions like um, why are you traveling I was like I'm trying I'm traveling for marriage reunion which is to the family like the Italian people will say so the next question they asked me was um, how long am I staying because I was staying I was going for marriage reunion I was going to join my husband I have the right to stay long, all like people that are going for business and tourist visits. So I told, so I told the person, I told him that uh, I was, I was going for about a year. So the other lady, I, I met a girl there. We said I became friends. You know, Benin. She's from Benin. She's nice, really, really nice. I've never seen a Benin person that is that nice. She's so nice. So, and I think she, she was staying for like six months. She was married to a white man, and I think she's going for like she's her duration was six months. Mine was a year. So, I I submitted I submitted um, my document. They asked me to go somewhere to pay. I went over there to pay, and uh, they asked me uh, what what else did they ask me? Mm. How long have you been married? I told them uh, any kids. I said no. And uh, what else did they even say? Um, can't remember. So I went. I was number one, like the, the number two. The other lady, the, the, my, the girl I met there, we became friends. I even gave her information that the, I was the one that told her the embassy was open, so she went there and all that. So she was number two, and I was number one. So. They already attended to her, so they asked her to do bad metrics. But me, I didn't do bad metrics because she's married to a white man. I don't, I don't really know why. So, I we submitted the same day. I came out. I was really helping her to do some stuff before they asked me to go out. That they attended to me, so I went out. I was waiting for her. She came in. She was like, all her stuff is not complete. They need some. So I shall help her out. Later, we left. They said um, they gave me a tracking code that I should be tracking my visa, and uh, they will call me. They always check my mail, so I waited. They said 21 working days they will get back to me. So on my own, I was tracking, it and it says it's in process. So I was always checking. I was checking. So one day on the 17th of of July, 2018, I checked. They said. Um, they said your process application your process application has been received at the visa application center lagos from the consulate general of italy so this was 17th july 
2018. So 17th July, I saw the message. I called my husband. I told him see what's happening. He was like, did they send you message? And then I said no. I tracked it. He said, and you should have waited. Me, I was anxious because he doesn't know the pressure I was under because of people around me who knows our story, saying a lot of things about us, saying a lot of things about him and all that. So I was really. So he said, okay, you go tomorrow. I said, no, I'll go on the twentieth of July, which is today. I said, I'll go to. I'll go on twentieth of July. And on the twentieth of July was is my brother's birthday, Kingsley. <laughs> I <laughs> worry some brother <laughs> troublesome. So I was like, I'll go on the twentieth of July. He was like, okay, no problem. So I I went on the eighteenth. I, I left I went I left Asaba on the nineteenth. I went to the embassy. I went to the emb I went to, I, I left Asaba on the nineteenth. I got to Lagos in the evening. I I got to Lagos in the evening. I was in the, in the morning. I got there. They said they are not attending to people for collection. They are only attending for people that want to submit. So we should wait till about 12 noon. So at 12, we went inside and you know it was my turn. I I submitted my name and all that. So they called me like they can't find my document. That was I sent message and I know, but I tracked it and it shows that. It has been sent to you guys. He was like, it's not here. I sat down. I was like, come here all the way from Asaba. So I will now go home and come back again. Mama was telling me, it's not go up to 21 working days and you're going. Why did you even come? So many things were in my mind. So there was a guy there. He was just shouting negative again. Um, they denied him again. They denied him again. He was shouting. So me, I was looking at him. Oh God! So they shouting three times. They denied him pizza three times. He was shouting fucking country. He just shouting, you know. So me, I was there. I was like, I mean, this one said. In fact, I was just, I was just confused. And I went to meet the guy again. I said. Bros, look at this thing they sent to me. Look at my tracking code. So I show it. I show it to him. I was like, look at it now. Is is it not? Look at the date they sent to me on the seventeenth. I'm coming today. Meaning the document is here. Please check very well. Politely I said so. So he checked again and he saw it. So this time around, my mind was bouncing. <laughs> I was just bouncing like, God, please, 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 she just keep it, she's not giving me that get him, she's not like denying me visa, please, please, please. So, there's no envelope like this, all like the America visa, they'll just give it to you there and there. You, you, you've been denied, you've been accepted, welcome to, so, there, they'll just, they'll tell you to go and come back to the working days and all that. So, this one, I... I, I was already, I was already tense, you know, let me use that word, so I, he, the big envelope, so he brought out the envelope, he tore it, he brought out my passport, he smiled, look at me, he was like, is your husband there? I was like, yes, so why are you smiling? He smiled again, I smiled back, so he gave it to me and, you know, and I thought, my visa, my passport was stamped. Give me one year visa. So I was so happy, but it was not all over my face. I was just moody, like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I just called my husband, like, good news, you gave me one year visa. I like, really, oh, congratulations. So that's my story. <laughs> um, but I did travel immediately after I got my visa for a reason. But the reason will be shown to you. I'll be telling you the reason in my part two of my next video, in the part two of this same video next time. But I didn't travel immediately. But the point is today was today making it a year. That I got a visa from the embassy.
to come to the Schengen nation. <laughs> it's not easy. One thing is, I always, I, I, like I told you, the good thing about Schengen visa is you can use it to travel to a 26th country of your choice. When you, as I'm in Italy, I can go to France, Paris, um, um, Norway, Germany, Poland, Ireland, you know, so many countries, which is 26 countries. So that's a good thing about Schengen visa. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for staying tuned to my channel. I hope you enjoy my <laughs> my story. So I'll be giving you the part two soonest. Take care of yourself. Love you. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you for subscribing. Ciao, ciao, ciao.